Hi guys, uh, today we are going to discuss about dynamic creative optimization, we call it DCO. So there are several ways by which you can uh, do a, a successful DCO campaign, but uh, we have executed DCO uh, through these three platforms. One is uh, your uh, buying platform that is TV360, then your uh, uh, app server that is campaign manager and studio. By marrying these three platforms properly, we executed several DCO campaigns, so I am going to discuss about those only. Okay, so the first and foremost thing as per me uh, to run a successful DCO campaign that is creation of a successful feed. So, what is feed? Feed basically it's a table, it's a database where all your combinations will be here. So, for which condition, which scenario, what are the dynamic elements you want to show to your audience that should resides here so for condition one or for condition two for condition three what are the images you want to change in your creative what are the several images you want to show what are the contents or sub contents you want to show uh, what landing page you want to take user for different different conditions so all those dynamic elements should be here so basically it's a blueprint so if you create this feed successfully then uh, you can execute your so if you structure it properly then for each and every condition each and every scenario the right content with the right image with the right landing page to uh, in front of the eyes of the user so basically it's a database it's a table where all these dynamic elements uh, for each and every condition each and every scenario everything will be here and based on this structure based on this data uh, this dynamic elements pitched from the right condition okay so let me explain how this uh, total DC works how the flow works right so basically when we decides uh, what are the uh, dynamic elements will be there when we almost complete the feed then uh, parallelly you have to create the campaign uh, in uh, dv3 history also so post creating the campaign and all the line items through which we are going to run those DCO uh, creatives we have to share all those campaign ID uh, line item IDs with uh, studio team uh, when they uh, receives those uh, dv360 campaign id or line item id they link those campaign id and line item id uh, in that feed so basically then the feed will be completed so all the scenarios will be there for which condition uh, which content which sub content with what color with what landing page the creative will serve so all the dy dynamic elements will be linked with the dv360 campaign id and line item id means through which line item id or through which campaign id those uh, dynamic creatives will serve so this linking will be done the whole feed will be completed so first of all we have to do, do this thing so in studio you have to create the feed and then in dv360 you have to create the campaign and you have to share the campaign id line item id with feed and you have to add those in the feed and you have to complete that feed post completing the feed studio team needs to link that feed with any profile unique profile so when the linking will be done then that profile needs to be published when the profile published in studio automatically uh, it will send a notification to campaign manager and after accepting that in campaign manager we can see the basic creative without any dynamic elements basic creative and for that basic creative we have to generate the tag and i have to give the tag from campaign manager to dv360 so when ad request comes to dv360 to response it back with an ad dv360 sends a request to the ad server and when it comes to that server it comes to that uh, basic creative without any dynamic elements and that basic creative linked with that profile id with studio so from ad server it comes to studio and in studio from that feed from that table it will take the right content right sub content right image right landing page which is perfect for that scenario or which is linked with that particular line item of dv360 from where the request came so it will take the proper thing it will fetch the proper information proper dynamic elements it will append those dynamic elements with the basic creative in campaign manager and then the right creative with right content right dynamic element will serve to that right line item and uh, it will serve in front of the right people basically right user so basically when ad request come from display vt360 it comes to campaign manager from campaign manager it will go to studio from studio it will take the right combination uh, and this right combination append with the basic creative in campaign manager and 
with all those right combinations, with the right content, the right creative will serve through the right, right line item in front of the eye of a right user basically. So that's the flow. Clear? So if you like this short video, please subscribe, like, share and comment. Thanks. Thanks guys. Take care. Bye. Cheers.